screen and then we key in so that uh, uh, we are able to know who wants to speak on this. Meanwhile, leader. What do you do? Mr. Speaker, I rise under standing order number 95 to request that the mover may be called to reply. Order, Honorable Tuse. Number one, Honorable Tuse, you are completely out of order because one, you are not even sure what you wanted to speak on. Then secondly, you want to call on standing order number 95. That's wrong. Let's have the uh, leader speak on this. Move the mic. Honorable <laughs> Speaker. <laughs> All right. Honorable Speaker, this bill, the Regional Development Authorities Bill, is very important. It's a very important bill. And I, 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 I would like to urge many members to contribute because it affects us. One, Honorable Speaker, we must align these Regional Development Authorities to the Constitution. Because some of the mandates that they have taken belong to the county government. Now, because they belong to the county government, it becomes counterproductive because it's a constitution. Actually, it is a constitutional issue. Because regional development authorities want to do water, they want to do education, they want to do roads, they want to do health, and yet regional development authorities are entities under the national government. County governments should be given space to do their work within their mandates, within Schedule 4. To continue to have regional development authorities in this government that have functions that cut across is contravention of the Constitution. And therefore, they must be aligned. They either need to choose to be animals or to be birds. They need to, we need to align the regional development authority. Today, we have around nine regional developments. And these regional developments, Honorable Speaker, are doing work that is cross-cutting. So the first point, Honorable Speaker, we must abide by the Constitution. In Schedule 14, Schedule 4 of the Constitution, where should they lie? Should they lie within the national government or the county governments? Honorable Speaker, there has been the argument by governors, for which I support to some extent, because Governors have been setting regional blocks, regional blocks which require money so that they can do the functions of the county government. But we have been denying regional blocks resources because we are taking the money to regional development authorities. And yet they do not have mandate to do that, the work of the county government. Honorable Speaker, I would change this law, and I think I'll have my say in third reading, that we change that instead of having these regional development authorities which consume money, they pay a lot of stuff, they do nothing, Honorable Speaker, we change it to give it to the counties, they hold what is called the regional blocks, as we fund regional blocks, and they do work for county government, and we see productivity, Honorable Speaker. Some of these regional, develop, regional development blocks, uh, authorities, Honorable Speaker, receive a lot of money from donors. In the case of Coast Development Authority, it has received millions of shillings from the Italian government. But what is it that we see? We see them sitting, they divide the tenders among their colleagues, they divide them among their families, and at the end of the day, the Coast people have never benefited from the Coast Development Authority because there is no structure to govern them. Even the minister at the top, the regional development minister, has not has not say completely under this regional development because they are like parastatals and yet they are not parastatals but they consume a lot of money from national government and give no results so honorable speaker i would like to see either we strengthen them to take care of counties or we strengthen them to take care of national government but it will give us an opportunity to send even more money and development to counties if we allow these regional development authorities to be what is now the economic blocks that we have. We have Jumia County is upon in, in, uh, the, in the coast. We have the Lake Basin, the Lake Regional, the Lake, uh, Lake not Lake Basin authorities, the, 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 the authority, the block which brings the counties at the Lake region. Where you have Jumia, you have Homer Bay, you have Kericho, you have all those. You know, the, that, that block we give it money. But Lake Basin Development Authority is doing work which the, county, the governors is, should be doing, you know. So we, we, there's a conflict in law, Honorable Speaker. And I just hope uh, my friend, the chairperson who is here,
takes cognizance of these facts so that we reform regional development uh, and that they must choose where they must belong. They cannot be a cow and be a goat at the same time. They have to choose who they want to be so that we, 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 we get benefit for the money that we put. Secondly, Honorable Speaker, we need to align also them to the Mongozo. You know, I think there are many board members. These, how do you bring a board member to Coast Development Authority and give a membership to someone who has never been to the coast, who understands nothing about the coast region, but he's a member of Coast Development Authority. He's a board member, but he doesn't know anything about coast. How does he sit down to decide development issues for a region he understands nothing about? How do you bring a person from the coast to the Lake Region, Lake Basin General Authority to discuss issues of the yes, Lake where he, order, he understands member. nothing about? There's a point of order uh, there. No, I have the government. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. On this bill, on the RDAs, one of the things that this bill is going to sort is people who are coming from those regions are the ones who are supposed to be board members of, of those RDAs. And this is one of those things that, uh, kindly, kindly, Mr. Speaker, uh, I want uh, the Honorable Member for Kilifi to relax. The, this bill is trying to sort out this issue of members who are coming from other regions going to RDAs that don't come from their regions so that we have members who come from those regions and understand those regions to be members of to be board members of those RDAs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, thank you very much, uh, Honorable, for the information. But I actually support that position that members of the RDA board for the particular RDA board must come from the region. They must come from the region. You cannot bring people from other regions to come and sit in council for a board in a region where those people don't understand anything. So, Honorable Speaker, I concur with uh, Honorable Papa Jafo on this matter, that we must have members of the board from those regions. Honorable Speaker, point of order, as I conclude, leader, as just take your seat. There's a very serious interest in your speak here. Look, what is out of order?